In this lesson, I'm just going to show you a little tip that can hopefully enhance your animation workflow. Uh, this technique is called looping animation. Um, it's, a, it's very useful if you have uh, a bunch of paint effects in the background, such as grass or trees, that you don't want to appear very high resolution or high detailed. So, to start off, I'm just going to grab a brush here. You can either go to the, this option, get brush or you can go down to your pull down here, paint effects, uh, get brush. So I'm just going to drop in, um, let me see, an underwater uh, sea urchin. So just hold B and drag to the side to make it bigger. Uh, you can pull that onto your grid. I'll just draw one of them and play it out. I actually really like this render. I think it looks really nice in my software. Um, but I'm going to play this out, and you'll notice when it gets to the end of your timeline here, it'll snap back. I'm actually going to change this to 48, my timeline. Um, it'll still have the same effect. You'll notice it'll snap back, and we're going to want to try and uh, eliminate that snap back. So to start off, we're just going to go into our uh, sea urchin branches and we're going to go down to the tubes option here and behavior and we're going to want to change the turbulence type from tree wind to the local force and the next step in this lesson is in order to eliminate that snapback we're going to want to loop this so go down to paint effects brush animation loop brush animation option box now, the default is usually set to 50, but since our timeline is only 48, I'm just going to type in 48, and you have the option to change the turbulence speed or the flow speed. You can mess around with those, uh, see what you like. So I'm just going to hit apply and play that out. All right, nice. You notice when it gets to the end of the timeline, we're not having that snapback. It's just fully looping. So. This is just a quick little tip. Um, hopefully it'll help your animations